Welcome to another round of performance reviews where I go over the analytics. I go over some like exceptional shows, shows that perform really well, shows that perform really bad. Try to tell you exactly what's going on, tell you about what's getting dropped and whatnot. First up, let's talk about Made. And I know that it's way too early, but I think that Made is getting dropped at this point. It is actually kind of crazy how Made has been underperforming in every week. Like the first episode, sure, first episode's always gonna do fine, right? First episode's always gonna be okay. But even, like, like the first episode's always gonna be the best because everyone's excited for a new show. Everyone's excited to see what is a new thing in the trends. But there's something weird going on where even the first episode performs so ass, the next two episodes, it's just dead on arrival. And if you really think about this show, I think it makes sense. There's nothing happening in this show. And does it like, like, this is sad. This is extremely sad. This is the algorithm basically telling you, stop. And the more shitty signals that you send to the algorithm, the harder it is to grow as a channel. Your videos will lose trust. Next time that you make the video, your algo is going to think, well, shit, you know, your viewers are not watching your existing videos. Why the fuck am I going to push this shit out, right? You got to minimize the amount of L's being taken and maximize the amount of positive signals. And how do you do that? You drop the fucking show. It's that simple. It's all business. There's nothing personal about it. Made, honestly, it's a great looking show. Production value polished. It's all there. But the plot is exceptionally boring. Nothing happens. And it's fine. Slice of life animes, nothing really needs to happen. You can just vibe with the characters. But whatever vibe, you know environment the setting this anime has created it's not delivering to the people and quite often shows like this quite often like it's not because of the genre of this show in fact shows like this pops off on my channel quite often but they have to be good i think it's just that simple made is not a captivating and engaging anime experience even if it looks good so an example where no matter how good the production value might be no one gives a fuck it is what it is Next up, let's look at Orb. And I want to look at two separate description uh, examples of Orb. And you guys should know this, but there is... Um, I'll show you three separate uh, videos. So, first episode of Orb, right? Remember, these are not my community members. These are tourists, all from Japan, and mostly not even English-speaking. Look at this shit, right? This is extremely rare. Remember, in every performance review video, I show you this chart. I think the audience tab is one of the most important tabs. You know why? Because I'll show you an example of a video where pretty much every anime is, you know, uh, what every uh, playlist looks like. And I'll have to scroll down a bit. Bro, um, I bet The Loner Life will basically be one of those shows because, you know, it's like a... I don't think new people are showing up through Loner Life, right? Look at it. Exactly. This is every pretty much like 95 percent of the videos that we make it's all through returning viewers it's all through my community members and these are videos that i've actually earned right i've earned this viewership however this is extremely rare why because a lot of japanese people are the opposite of weebs rather than western people glazing eastern culture it's eastern people glazing western culture this whole you know, witch hunt, this whole, you know, a conspiracy theories of geocentrism, heliocentrism, setting in Poland, stuff like that. The Japanese people fucking love this shit. And oh my God, not only that, the anime is actually so good. But what I'm trying to get at is these viewerships are very volatile. It is extremely, extremely volatile. Look at this not sub to sub. Remember, this is usually the breakdown around 50-50. Right? Roughly 50-50 to sub to non-sub. This is a great problem to have. However, it's not really. This would be a great problem to have. Problem as in you want more subs than not subs. That's what you think, but no, actually. Having not subs coming in is fantastic. It means your video is growing up to a wider audience. But it doesn't matter if it's going to a wider audience because it's going to Japanese people. And it's not that I don't like Japanese people. It's that Japanese people don't fucking speak English. They're watching these videos to literally just, just like... Click onto specific moments. They don't actually watch the video. Look at this shit. Look at the below typical retention. Why is that? Because these are not my community members. Motherfuckers only want to see specific moments. There's nothing wrong with that. For animes where basically it's my community members, 
Look at this shit. It's very stable within the expected regions, right? But stuff like this, it's like, it's kind of like investing into already like a, a failed uh, audience because like these people only care about this show and there is a little to no chance that an English speaking portion of this audience will then become my community members. But it's still fine to ride the hype. And episode three, it popped the fuck off, right? It popped the fuck off. Again, way more new people coming in, all fucking Japanese people. And then there's stuff like this. And I believe that it's going to take a while. But basically, because we're reliant on a separate audience that's not my community, it's very volatile. And if there's episodes that might be quote unquote boring, because episode four, it's a brand new arc and we're starting, it's, it's all set up. People, like, like I'm reliant on getting bailed out by a tourist. And that's not a good feeling, right? These videos, Orb is extremely, extremely fraudulent. And right now... I'm just kind of in the trends, but even if these videos pop off, they don't really help me long term. It's just short term views, man. It's just tourists coming in and tourists going out. And it's even harder to convert these people into community members because of the language barrier. But that's kind of what's happening with Orb. A very interesting scenario and I, it, it's very rare. It's, it's very rare that a show like this pops off because again, most shows are going to behave just like this, like Lauren Life Isakai, where everything is just returning viewers and little to no new viewers. But still, I'll be there. I'll be there at a farm orb. Orb is actually a great anime, too. Let's look at the Tibet videos, did pretty well, huh? The trailer and the chibi video. I think that a lot of people are excited for Tibet, but also they're kind of, you know, the drama is cooking. Let's look at these two. Views are higher than usual. I mean, it's a trailer reaction. The chibi video as well, because it's kind of like Doomer, right? Doomer posting. I mean, fuck, what does the title say? It's called the worst news we could get has... The worst news we could get has happened today. It's a very Doomer clickbaity title. It's not necessarily wrong either. And it has a popular, you know, ty uh, an IP associated with it. No wonder it's going to do well. If I look at the audience tab, I don't think enough... No, it's pretty much, again, <clears throat> little to no new viewers coming in. 50-50 split for subs and not subs, right? Again, these are views that I earned. There's a fundamental difference in views that you earn through your community series versus getting bailed out, okay? Look at the chibi video. Look at the, let's look at the audience. Same shit. No new viewers coming in. Almost 50-50 split. It is what it is. I hope that debate will be well, but even if it doesn't, I still fucking come out on top because we'll just find the drama. All right. Um, Dragon Ball Daima is definitely performing bad and it makes sense because literally who gives a fuck about Dragon Ball when people aren't fighting? Like people only watch this shit for the Unga Bunga hype scene. So I don't care if this performs bad. Plus, battle shown in audiences I don't have, and I need to build towards that. Therefore, I need to bite the bullet and tank for specific shows like this. So it's perfectly fine. Dandadan is still doing very well. It's looking like Dandadan is kind of settling for about 5k average viewership, which is fantastic. It's pretty consistent too. Third week and it's still hitting this. If you look at the audience tab, probably no new viewers coming in. Expected. 50-50 split. Expected. So these are views that I earned. I earned all of this shit. The engagement is pretty good. People definitely look for a longer time. And if you have engagements that's above the typical range, what does that mean? Most people watching this are community members, not tourists. So these videos I've earned. Fantastic. Nice to get bailed out by Dandadan immediately after a re-zero day. Let's look at Danmachi. Danmachi low-key is doing good enough. Danmachi low-key is doing good enough. And I said that I'm going to bite the bullet for Danmachi. I don't even have to. It's actually like, it's on the lower end, but it's not like bad. It's eh, but it's very fun for me to watch. I'm excited that Danmachi can keep up. But it's a good feeling. And no new people coming in in 50-50 split. What does that mean? It's my audience. I've earned this. Next up. Uh, let's 
let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think enough time has passed for the Healer Got Banished episode, but surprisingly enough, this fucking anime, we're still watching. And it's performing okay. <laughs> I, well, the nature, it, it's a very mid anime, but there's a lot of entertainment you can have from it due to this blonde character that you see. I don't think enough time is cooked. Yeah, not enough time is cooked right now. Like, look at this plate here. It's not even 50-50. It's more 60-40. Which means that, like, even less new people are checking it out. But within my existing audience of shitty isekai enjoyers or, you know, these fantasy show enjoyers, they are eating it up. It, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're absolutely chilling with this shit. Let's look at... I want to look at some earlier, um... I want to compare Ass Class and Index now. Index is doing so fucking well, bro. It's crazy. I mean, from the beginning, Index has been... Like, the polls already showed. The polls have already showed that people wanted Index, but I'm like, is this getting botted? Are we getting trolled right now? First Index episode, bro. This shit went fucking nuclear. To be able to get th this high of a performance for an old ass anime, this is literally the data live example happening all over again. Where it's not a trending topic, but within my community, people like this shit. And there's a cult like following for this series, and I'm getting rewarded for it. The watch time is phenomenal. The views are phenomenal. The subs are phenomenal. Everything about it is fucking cracked. Because people who watch Twaddle No Index, even though they acknowledge that the anime is a mid-adaptation, and even though there's no new viewers coming in, look at this shit. There's no new viewers coming in, yet we're able to get this kind of viewership. This is 100% earned, and it's a very great feeling. 50-50 split. It's not even tourists, bro. There are no tourists for this shit. It's hard to be a tourist, honestly, for a show like fucking Index, right? Let's look at the, um... I watched every Index uh, opening. Where is that? Description Twaru. Let's look at the opening. Not this. Every opening. Description opening. Where is the... There it is. But this shit went fucking nuclear. Almost 1,000 likes. 14k views. Index is fucking crazy. It's still fucking getting the views, bro. It's still going. It's pumping. And here's the idea, right? Before you start a new show, obviously this is not for seasonal shows, but even for seasonal shows, some openings will pop off. But if it's like an old show or something, you do every opening, every ending, you post that shit out. It's such fun, accessible content, opening reactions or something everyone fucking enjoys. I think that there's such low value from the opening reactions. All I'm doing is shaking my fucking head and just listening to the songs, but people love that shit. They'll fucking watch it. And the audience, it's not that many new people coming in either. But still, in my audience, there's a lot of like not subscribed people that actually do enjoy Index. And it's created this like, um, like have like leading in to a show like this by having an opening will just kind of like make it easier to get your Index reactions to go. And this is what happens. If I didn't do the opening ending, would it have gotten this kind of treatment? Who knows? But definitely, I would like to, you know, capitalize on the 14k. Now, now there's no money being made. There is no money being made off of these opening reactions. Why? Because, well, there is a way to edit the opening ending reactions. And I've talked about some in the previous videos where there is a way to make the shit monetized, but it will require you to cut the videos. And that kind of experience for music reactions is very poor. And it kind of defeats the purpose. You want to give people a good experience. Maybe I could have made like $50 off of this opening reactions, but I'm being very short-sighted. Am I so worried for a couple tens of dollars that I'm gonna ruin the experience of other new fans that may enjoy Index? If they enjoyed this opening ending reaction more, then there's even more money that I could potentially make because I gave them such a good experience, right? So opportunity cost, think about that shit. I will tank, you know, opening ending reactions. I'll try to give you the best experience possible. And at the end of the day, these videos are not to make money off of. It's to help these videos to make money off of, if that makes sense. Now, if Index is doing this well, let's see how well Assassination Classroom does. Class, let's see. Uh, first time watching, right? Let's, let's just compare the first episodes, right? 
Look at this shit. Both pop the fuck off, man. Both are in the equivalent ranges. And why is the viewership so similar? Because these are successfully curated community series. It It's literally like non-fraudulent community series. Phase Zero is extremely fraudulent because one fucking retard most likely bought... He spent money to brigade the fucking poll. And I actually probably know who that person is. It's a fucking... Uh, it's, it's a motherfucker from Turkey that used to wail a lot in my streams, but can't fucking talk anymore because his phone number's fucking broken or some shit. So he's got to wait a month or something. It's probably that fucking retard that did it. 100% it's someone like him. But regardless, it's, it's, it's still, you know, this is what happens when you, you correctly, accurately curate a show. And the watch time, the views, it's pretty much on point. If you look at the audience tab, no new people coming in. But, you know, the subs to non-subs, it's all fucking earned. If you look at the opening reaction, uh, let's see the opening. Opening. Here it is. Even the opening reaction, right? It's the same concept. You do every opening, every ending. It did not get the same reach as index, but still, it's still good to do it. It's still good to do it to make people know that, hey, we're reacting to all this shit, you know, hop on board. So right now, it's usually, um, usually community series, there's one fraudulent one and one legit one, right? But it's so nice to actually have two successful community series. It's so much like weight lifted off my back. I don't have to like overcompensate for the lack of views due to one fraudulent series, but they're doing fantastic. And it's looking like every index and um, assassination classroom will average about like 3,000 views for like the first week or so and potentially to go to 5k and beyond. Now, let's look at... Reason is actually still doing really well. You know, I thought that the viewership would start to fall off, but after a week or so, it's still reaching like 7 to 10k range. And of course, it's fucking fantastic, right? But... There is literally no new people coming in. It's very hard to get new people coming in for topics where we're so... Like, I've been farming ReZero for such a long time. It's, it's really hard to just, like, get a separate audience of ReZero and just show up. It, it's really hard to just, like, break out like that. But for the existing audience, I'm doing what needs to be done. The watch time is fucking fantastic. The engagement is fucking fantastic. Guess where motherfuckers don't care about? Let's see this part. Why well, don't care? people care about this part of the reaction? Because these are fucking retards that skip as soon as... Let's see it. Yep, it's the Garfield moments. Ain't nobody care about Garfield moments. Oh, gorgeous tiger. Wow, amazing crying tearing scene. Nobody give a fuck, bro. Ain't nobody care about the sentimental Garfield moments. People only want to see, oh, peak fight scene. Oh, re Regulus versus super. Oh. Garfield, I snooze. Garfield, Mimi, I snooze. Yep. The graph does not lie. This is the average behavior of the average retard watching this. Don't fucking tell me that you're different. The numbers do not lie, but hey, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Now, now, now. What show shall we check out next? We've already talked about Index is doing well. Ask Class is doing phenomenal. Let's look at this, actually. The villainous show, it's... Holding up, kind of? I mean, there's nothing that airs on Tuesdays for weekly, so I don't feel the pressure to drop it. And again, it performs good enough, right? It performs good enough. Just like Don Much. There's, there's no pressure to drop it. It's not really new people coming in either. Yeah. Wah, wah. But that's kind of like the bread and butter, right? The bread and butter. Yapping actually did pretty decent. I guess people just wanted to see the fan service, right? It's also kind of like, uh, look at the difference of likes to... Like, Yapping, I think, is definitely an above average uh, community weekly... Uh, a weekly series that performs well. You can see by how much likes there is, right? And then you can also see that Villainous, there's less, but it's still good enough. Yapping, it's definitely on the upper end. It's definitely on the upper end. And if you look at the audience, there's no new people coming in. But with the community that I have, it resonates with them a lot. Yeah. Standard, good shit. Nice to see. If only every week we could perform like this, but, you know, that's a bit too much to ask. The tierless videos do decent in the beginning of the season, but there is definitely viewer fatigue. 
uh, tier list videos will drop by views as the weeks go on, but it's nice in the beginning of the season. People want to see new shit. Oh, this video is kind of interesting. Uh, this video is kind of interesting. Where is it? So this is a fun video, right? This drama or just it's not drama. It's more of I'm here to tell you honestly about how content creation and reaction content works and why people don't seem enthusiastic about ReZero. Most people won't like most reaction channels only stick to reactions. I'm trying to evolve my content beyond that. And it's rare to see other people actually kind of like talk and farm Reddit threads like this. And maybe there's like a breath of fresh air. People love this shit. While the engagement bar is definitely lower and there's only 10% on average of people checking out. I don't really blame you. It's for 56 minutes, but of, let's say, you know, 5,600 people watching it. That means that 560 people actually watched out the entire thing, which is kind of crazy. Look at the audience. It's the same motherfuckers, right? It's 50-50 split. Nothing special going on. It's just fun to just farm these videos, though. It's fun to farm these videos and just, like, correct and... Like, everyone... Like, it's, it's, it's just annoying when you have monkeys that have no idea what they're talking about. They don't create content. They have all these different assumptions. Then other retard monkeys will then go brigade those comments and like it. And then it sends a false signal and other people have the misinformation of why people are doing such things. And I should call them up. I show up. I show you the fucking data. And then I show you with experience how things are done. It's, it's nice. for It's like a stress relief for me too. Anything else? Videos like this are definitely, um, these kind of videos, it's planting the seed for the future. I definitely experiment here and there with different topics. You would think that people might care, but a lot of people watching me are pretty young and they don't even know what a fucking tax system is. They haven't even gotten their first fucking paycheck. So who cares about the work culture? They don't actually work nine to five like office jobs. They cannot relate to this kind of content. But in order for me to expand and evolve my content beyond just fucking anime reactions, right? It's good to touch upon commentary regarding other shit. I mean, there was the Gen Z dating video, right? That I made that was like an hour long reaction. That one actually did pretty damn well. So again, projects like this are kind of just little seeds that I plant to show you that, hey, there's this different type of commentary that exists that I can do too. And for me to kind of evolve beyond just anime reactions and just become like a pure commentary variety channel. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, it's kind of crazy that this fucking video got 2.8k views, even though there was no new content. Just kind of speaks in volumes about gushing for magical girls. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much a decent breakdown of, you know, <laughs> the drama videos. They do decent. I'm actually very glad that like I can just like pull out these kind of videos out my ass. Like I can literally just create content without relying on like things to watch because people will just like create content for me. People will comment shit. People will make videos and they fucking react. But that's pretty much it. There's more drama here. But other than that, what's the key takeaways? Uh, I think the theme of today is, well, Maid has dropped. No one gives a fuck about Maid. Why does no one care about Maid, even though it looks good? It doesn't matter how polished your anime is. All that matters is the, um... Oh yeah, we should check about Furata. Let's look at Furata, and it's holding on. And if you look at the amount of likes, it's pretty decent too. And it's actually doing better than holding on. It's exceeding expectations pretty soon. It was kind of like slow start, but, you know, it's exceeding expectations, that's nice. But... It's a case study where it doesn't matter how good your anime looks. It's, you know, if there's nothing really happening and people don't resonate with the characters or the plot, then it's just wah wah. Blue Lock, we're going to let this shit cook a little bit more. I don't think enough time has passed to really look at the you know stats for these videos. That's why I'm looking at the other week's videos. Appraisals, probably going to do fine enough. Mao 2099 is another one actually too in there. Mao 2099, let's look at that shit too. 2099. First episode actually did really fucking well. But again, it's a brand new episode. And ooh, YouTube search being a uh, main search, a main source of viewership tells me that there's tourists coming in. This hasn't updated enough, but if you look at the reach, and if there's more people finding my th video through YouTube search, it means that it's kind of picking up heat because not many people are making content about this topic and there might be a demand. So there's definitely an uptick here, which is great to see, right? Look at that little burst here. It's good to see. 
But that's pretty much it. Mate is definitely dropped. It is what it is. You guys have told me with views that you don't give a fuck. Ass class and index are both popping off. For the first time, we have both community series that also pops off. And that's it. Hope you learned something from this video. I'll see you next time.